Hey everybody, this is Michael Smiley coming at you with another review video. Um, sorry about my face. Um, today I was diagnosed with um, a sinus infection, so it's been an interesting day to say the least. <clears throat> anyway, um, today I want to talk about the movie series Aliens. Now, so Scott Ridley made the first one, and he did an amazing job. Okay, he did a really good job to start with with the first movie and everything. And um, my personal so there's there's four that were the first original storyline, right? There was Alien which was the first one. Aliens, which was the second one. Aliens is um, particularly my favorite. Um, and then there was Alien 3, and then there was Alien Aliens Resurrection. So, <clears throat> Alien 1 was a, a really good first. Um, a really good first movie to start with, right? Um, it was unlike anything else that came out at the time, and it was, you know, sci-fi, but scary, but with a story, um, and Aliens took that idea and really expanded and progressed on the second one, and I think that that's why it's my favorite. Uh, Sigourney Weaver is one of the most talented actresses in Hollywood. Um, she is one of my all-time favorites. So, I mean, she's incredible in these movies. Um, she does a really great job. Uh, for back then, the aliens were scary. Um, I mean, they still live up to today's standards. And they really are classics. Especially in the sci-fi genre. And... I mean, it's not surprising that it has such a following that it does. So, Alien 1, Alien, uh, actually, the, the 40th year anniversary is this year, and they just released the 4K version of the movie, and I literally bought it tonight. I mean, I own the whole set on Blu-ray, but... You know, better quality is better quality. So, look at this amazing cover. That's pretty epic, right? I'll even show you the back. Because <clears throat> it's that good. Look at that. That is so cool. Anyway. So, I can't wait to see you how amazing it looks on 4k but it looks like a brand new movie and it's 40 years old it's incredible um so alien was good and it did have a twist and everything and um you know it was very craftily done it was very creative um very imaginative it was uh the story was good. Of course, the acting was great. I mean, Sigourney Weaver, of course. Um, then came the second one. The second one uh, had Bill Paxton in it. It had Sigourney Weaver in it. It was a really, really, really excellent movie, and I really can't wait until that's released in 4K. Um, it's one of the greatest alien movies of all time. Ever. It was that, that, uh, there's just so much I could say about it. Sorry, guys, it looks like I'm crying, but I'm really not. It's my sinuses. Um, anyway, so the, the third one, I think that they really dropped the ball on the third one. I don't... I don't really care for the third one. In fact, I've only watched it probably two times in my entire life. That's terrible. 
usually if I like a movie or I think it's really great, I usually watch it multiple times. Um, Alien 3 was not that great. I think that was actually a pretty terrible movie, but... I mean, it was still done with quality, but I just didn't like the story or, you know, how it all went down and everything, that kind of thing. Not that it was, you know, a cheesy movie or anything like that. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that, you know, story-wise and where they took it, it, it made it terrible. Um, so then you have Alien Resurrection. Alien Resurrection definitely rebounded from Alien 3. I uh, I just didn't like Alien 3, just like I hated the original third Halloween movie when it came out. I mean, not when it came out, because I wasn't live, but you know what I mean, like, both threes were terrible, anyway, regardless. Um, <clears throat> Alien Resurrection was very entertaining. Uh, the whole cloning process thing was very uh, creative and original for the series. Um, and the third act was so whack. It was really... It was really crazy. A lot of things went down. Um, Winona Ryder, she was okay, I guess, in it. I mean, it's not that she was terrible. I just didn't really like her character that much. I thought that she was extremely annoying, but that's just my opinion. Um, and, of course, Sigourney Weaver was absolutely amazing in it. Uh, yeah. That would have been pretty cool to see a fifth one from there. And there's been rumblings that they were going to make a fifth one, and Sigourney Weaver was interested in... Um, I actually think that they got a director and writer and everything for it, but they keep deciding to go with Scott Ridley's, which is fine. Um, I mean, I would love more of Sigourney Weaver in these roles because I think that she is that amazing. It's just like Kate Beckinsale in the Underworld movies. You just have that actress or talent that just, that's what you want to see on their journey, you know? <clears throat> But anyway, so then, um, the next in the Alien franchise was actually Alien vs. Predator, after Alien Resurrection. <clears throat> so they kind of ignored, uh, they ignored Sigourney Weaver's story, um, and Ellen Ripley. And they uh, went with their own thing with that whole Alien vs. Predator thing. Which, I have so many mixed emotions about Alien vs. Predator. Quality-wise, it, it was fantastically done. I mean, it looked like it had a really huge budget and everything. And, um, they had really good, talented actors and actresses in it and everything. But, like, some of the things were, you know, like the ancient society things and everything that they, um, you know, the whole predator thing and everything. I don't know. It was just really weird. Um, yeah, they, they put too much thought, I think, into it that made it take away from what was going on. I don't know. It is weird. Um, I have so many mixed emotions about it. I think that it was, I think that it was a good movie. I, it was a million times better than Alien 3, and, um, yeah, it was a good movie. I just, I mean, the first part of it is really boring until the alien stuff starts happening, but, you know, they have to build that up, I guess. And then, so, the first Alien vs. Predator was good. And then, the second Alien vs. Predator, oh, and another thing about the first Alien vs. Predator, 
the predator sided with humans and was like best BFFs with them, and completely unrealistic from the original Predator movie, but whatever. Um, <clears throat> Alien vs. Predator 2 was... It had a smaller budget, I think. Like, you could tell that it was a lot smaller. Um, I, I, I liked it, but I didn't like it. Like, again, they did they did really cool with the graphics and stuff like that. And, you know, the, some of the side stories and stuff, but... I don't know. I don't think that... I don't think that it was as great as it could have been. I think that was good. It was a very entertaining movie, but I don't think that it was... Uh, I don't think that the Alien vs. Predator side franchise lived up to the hype. I don't think that they did it as good as they should have, I guess, if that makes sense. Um... And I think that they're good movies, they're entertaining popcorn movies or whatever, but there's just some things about each one of them that kind of, ugh. And then other things from each one of them. I mean, they, they both have a lot of pros and a lot of cons to both of them. Um, but anyway, getting back on track here. Um, Prometheus was an excellent movie. Uh... Again, Ridley Scott came back in, and, okay, so, Ridley Scott did the first one, James Cameron did the second one, don't know who did the third one, don't know who did the fourth one either, don't know who did the, the I think that was a brother duo that did the first and second Alien vs. Predator movies, if I remember right. Like the Straussman brothers or something like that. I forgot. Anyway, so Scott Ridley came back on to do uh, Prometheus, which is a prequel to the whole Alien universe. Um, way back, way back to a to a civilization that they called the Engineers. And I think that it was a completely interesting, unique, uh, original idea. And I like that. I like that they... I like that uh, Ridley Scott really um, took the universe of it all and just flipped it right upside down. And, um, yeah... He definitely did amazing with Prometheus. I really love that. I love Charlize Theron. I love everybody that was Michael Fassbender. Everybody that was in Prometheus was excellent. I loved, I just love everything about Prometheus. It was original. It was creative. It was... The special effects were really, really great. The twists and the turns were excellent. Like, there was a lot going on in that movie. Um, and it didn't feel like it was overthought. It felt like it was just right. It felt like, yes, this really did happen in the universe at this point in time. And this, you know, expanded and brought up this whole other uh, creature that, you know, later on existed. Um... But the whole the whole thought process behind Prometheus was excellent. I think I, I really really love Prometheus. Aliens is still my favorite, the second one, but Prometheus is you know Prometheus is up there definitely. And then um, Alien Covenant, which is the follow up to Prometheus and still a prequel of the Alien series. You could tell that that was made with a huge budget, too. And again, it had Michael Fassbender in it. And, um... It, it was... It was really dark. Uh, it was really dark. Uh, the special effects were great. Um... The, 
the twists were kind of twisty and stuff like that. That was pretty good and bad at the same time. Not bad because, I mean, it's bad because I just, I'm like, mm, really? <laughs> but, because I'm a completely non-spoiler person if I can help it, so... You won't see any spoilers in my review videos, as far as I can help it, unless one accidentally slips, and unless I find a way on how to edit videos, but I don't see that happening anytime soon. But, um, yeah, anyway, Alien Covenant was a, a great follow-up, and I'm really interested and curious to see what Ridley Sky is going to do with the next one which is supposed to tie into the first Alien movie. And that's going to be pretty cool, I think. I have a lot of expectations for that one. Um, yeah. yeah. They're doing great with the, uh, with the new set of them. Um, I'm still anxiously waiting for the next Alien Alien movie in Ellen Ripley Sigourney Weaver's character's arc um, to see a satisfying ending with that. I mean, yeah, they could use Alien Resurrection as her ending or whatever, but really there's so many so many different directions they could go. There's so much potential there. It, it just it, it leaves the door open too much to leave closed. So I think that they should continue with that because it they were doing excellent until they got to the Alien vs. Predator part of the series. <clears throat> I mean they're good, but I they're not as you know, great enough to take away from Ellen Ripley's story. Um Especially, I mean, the franchise just has to redeem itself after the third one. It's just so terrible. But anyway, we'll forget about that one until Sigourney Weaver does another one, and then we don't have to worry about the rest of them. I really, really, really can't wait. I can't wait until the next Prometheus, well, not Prometheus movie, but Prometheus trilogy, I guess, would Prometheus, Alien Covenant, and then whatever the the next one is going to be that connects with the first original Alien movie with the timeline. So that's going to be really exciting. I have a lot of faith in Scott Ridley after seeing Prometheus and, and Alien Covenant. Especially with the talent that he's picked out to, to tell his stories. So... He's went above and beyond to impress, so... The only thing that you can, I mean... Sigourney Weaver is the heart and soul of the series, so... Get her back at some point, please. <laughs> but, anyway... I've been rambling and rambling now, and... I've pretty much talked about all I could say about the Alien franchise. I, I can't wait until they're all on 4K, where they look brand new and, you know super high quality and everything that's gonna be nice uh, I'll watch aliens a hundred times on 4k when it comes out hopefully on its 40 year, year anniversary like this one well let's not wait that long because you know <laughs> they can come out with another one before then but anyway I'll let you guys go I'll probably do another review video soon I don't have anything else to do, and I'm just sick and feel like talking about movies and entertainment and stuff like that, so. I think my dog is finally relaxed. All that clapping that you always hear in my videos, that's him walking across the, the floor to get to his dog dish and his, you know, water and stuff like that. He's 16. He's a... An old man, uh, Truman Shepherd and Pomeranian mix, very beautiful, and he's extremely healthy and everything, <laughs> healthier than I am, but, anyway, 
If you like my review, uh, make sure you like, subscribe, comment, and please subscribe and tell your friends. Show the videos all around. I know that this one might be terrible because I'm kind of sick right now, but <laughs> stupid sinus infections. Anyway, <clears throat> until next time, guys. Have a great night.